Hi, this is Rebecca Jones, and I'm uh, talking about ancient Israel and its literature. There is a discussion question uh, due tonight about uh, the latter part of Genesis 35 to 50. The first question is, uh, what did uh, what what happened with Joseph? What 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 did the brothers do, and how did God mean that to turn out? So, the brothers sold Joseph into slavery. Now, at first, they wanted to kill the brother Joseph, but uh, I believe it was Judah that turned around and said, "No, don't kill him. Um, you know, do something else instead." And so they finally. Uh, decided to sell Joseph into slavery, and that's what they did. And through years and years of slavery, uh, he God worked him up in the chain to where he was uh, one of the uh, leaders in Egypt, and uh, he was able to interpret the dreams to find out, Pharaoh's dreams to find out that uh, there was going to be seven years of famine uh, after seven years of plenty. So he was able to warn the king to stock up so that the king was able to feed his people and even surrounding nations and make a great profit off of feeding surrounding nations. So in that, what the brothers meant for evil, God turned and used for good. And Joseph's whole family and the whole tribes of Israel were, were, um, were spared and even they flourished so much so that, you know, generations later, the Egyptians were afraid of them and, and made put, put them into hard labor. So, so what the brothers meant for evil, Joseph meant for good. Now, let's talk about what Judah did. Uh, the the, uh, the uh, treasures were hidden in, in baby Benjamin's bag. And uh, Benjamin was accused of stealing. And Benjamin, of course, didn't do this. But Judah, of course, came forward and became a sacrifice for Benjamin and went straight to Joseph and said, hey, you know, listen, you, I didn't want uh, I didn't want uh, Benjamin to come along. The father, our father would not want Benjamin to come along. Our father, without Benjamin, the last of um the last of Rachel's sons uh if if Benjamin were to leave the fa uh, our father would be like absolutely devastated and would die but you said we could not come and get food without Benjamin with us so we agreed to uh have Benjamin with us and I told my father that if anything happened to Benjamin, I would be in his place. So Judah turned around and became like the kinsman redeemer, the sacrifice, the sacri the scapegoat, the sacrifice in Benjamin's place. So that's what Judah did for uh, Benjamin. Now I also wanted to point out that there were some that there there's some interesting other things that happened. Why Judah ended up. Um, uh, the line of David, why Jesus came from Judah and not one of the older brothers, because there were, Judah, I believe, was the fourth in line, and the first brother slept with, uh, I think it was his father's concubine, and the second brother also had a sin, and the third brother had a, had a very egregious sin, and it was actually Judah was the first one that was not disqualified from having uh, the, uh, the, uh, Davidic line um, to be the savior of the world that Jesus would come from. So uh, that I think is what we wanted to get out that Judah was kind of representing Jesus was was foretelling the sacrifice and what uh, any anything that befalls us on this earth God can turn and and uh, make that for good. So uh, for example. Um, this happens in recovery all the time. Something happens and it may be our fault and it may not be our fault, but we end up uh, going a very difficult road and having uh, some trouble. And when we recover from that, it, it, is, it is something that God can use for the benefit of other people. And that, that's something we run up against in recovery all the time, that the stuff that I went through, I did not go through it just for me. I went through it so that I could be a help to other people who are going through it. 
so uh, and lead them back to Jesus and lead them back to God and show them that there there is hope. So that's all I want to say about that. Thank you very much.